Welcome back to another riveting episode of The Bald and the Beautiful. I'm Katya, and I'm just waiting for my co-hostess, Trixie Mattel, to untangle herself. She seems to have gotten tangled up down there. She seems to have... um. <sighs> we are episode, what, 60 or something of The Bald and the Beautiful? No, 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 no. Probably like 50... 50? 51? Could be 51. Because it's been a year. 51-50. No, is it? Have you ever I been honestly f- have no idea. Have you have you ever been 5150? I yeah, I think that's when you get clotheslined, right? No, oh. I think that's when they oh, they, they they can body snatch you without you signing your own like help me my mental health. I keep I know I keep asking them. Can someone please come? <laughs> <laughs> can I get 5150s? Yeah. I would love 5150s. 5150s. Yeah. Um I I got to just address the elephant in the room. Do it. I love my Christmas present. Oh my God. Okay. The, the, the Hyundai Elantra that I, the 2014 Hyundai. <laughs> I do think Eden stopped by to pick them up to exchange them. They are, okay, they, they have they been missing. refunded. Yes. Oh, great. They have been refunded. I'm just waiting for the, the, um, the correct size. Kati got me the most beautiful Gucci sneakers. They're black. They're beautiful. I love them. And then it's a great, like deep, 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 dark, rich color, blue deep, cardigan. Color. Oh yeah. 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 Gucci. I thought it was black, but I it's thought blue. it was too until yeah. I put on black jeans and went, no. The lie detector test yeah. determined that was a lie. Yeah. Do you like it though? Love it. Okay, good. I'm glad. Love it. I'm glad. I like Christmas, but now that I have a little bit of money, I have a little bit of wiggle room in mm-hmm. terms of like, you know, stuff. Um, I like get buying people stuff, mm-hmm. especially if they're easy and say, hey, by the way, this is what I would love for a Christmas present. I don't have to do a lot of guesswork or whatever. Yeah. I love that. Well, that's what I'm I tried to do with you and yeah. you won't tell me anything. No, I don't. I honestly don't want anything. And it's not like a, a passive aggressive, like none of that. No, no, none of that. Not like how I would play it, <laughs> <laughs> which is to say, I don't want anything so I can complain oh, later. Oh yeah. That I, I wouldn't get anything. <laughs> please, please. I thought about sending you something. Um, I can't remember what it was, but I went, I, I, I got myself so many things at the fucking rolls, Rose Bowl flea market. Have you ever been there? I went with Andrew once we went <sighs> doll hunting. I found some great dolls there. That fucking Rose Bowl. She skeeted in my face. Who would play her? Um, Rose Nylon. <laughs> and Bowl. <laughs> Sally Bowl. Bowls. Sally, Sally Bowls. <laughs> yeah. No, it was so good. Mama uh, left at the house around 6, got there at 6.30 a.m. You have to. You have to. You ha- Which I think is crazy. I know, Andrew. That's crazy. When I agreed to go, you know I drink. Yeah. And it's on a Sunday. <laughs> yeah. And it's like Saturday at yeah. 2 a.m. And I'm like, ugh, I'm like blackout. And I'm like, the Rose Bowl tomorrow. Yeah. And then Andrew, you know, serious, and Andrew serious picks about me it. up with his hair modeling in his car. And it's like, we're going to, we're going to need to be there by eight. I'm like, oh. same oh, thing no. when Andrew and I have gone to the doll shows, the, the there's doll, con- like mini doll sale conventions yeah. at motels yeah. that we go to. And it'll be like eight in the morning. Why that early? I don't get the Rose Bowl. People were set up already by 6 a.m. Because old people get up early. Old people. Was it just old though? And I or think that I, what's funny is by dry queen standards, I'm an early riser because I naturally yeah. get up before nine. Yeah. But yeah, I know yeah. that to normal people, that ain't shit. No, that's a, that's sleeping way in. I know. Yeah. Vanderpump was like, I can't sleep longer than five 30. Well, she's also 80, 82. <laughs> she is not 80. <laughs> but I also think um, your clock changes as you get older for real. Yes. Yeah. My grandmother, towards the end, she never even really went to bed. She had one foot on the ground and she put her head technically on the pillow just to make, you know, it's like, I'm sleeping. My head's on the pillow. But and she, she had do, one foot out the bed. She had a bad to, impersonation of like, <laughs> <laughs> yes, long, long <laughs> nightcap. <laughs> yeah. She was, but she hardly slept maybe four hours a night. Crazy. But, you know. I gooned on David's Christmas present this year. What did you, wait, wait, wait. He did the right thing, which is tell me exactly what to buy him. And I okay. bought him this stunning black embossed Gucci duffel. That like stuff this is big. so expensive. It it's is. so expensive. But David's bougie. And that's why he's hard to shop for because if yeah. he wants something, he just buys it for himself. That's me. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, don't you dare give me something I don't want. Because I'll tell you. Yeah. I can't fake I can't fake stuff like that. I know. David I on the phone was it. like, well, I, I got to get, he's, David said, send me some of the toys you, you have in your favorites on eBay because he knows I'm always on looking at toys. Sure. He goes, because I'm afraid my present's not good enough. I said, oh, well, babe, if it's not, I'll tell you. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll tell you. You know I'll tell yeah. you. Somebody got me something. I freak, um, what was it? I And I, I think I was like, what the fuck was it? I can't remember. And I was like, 
I just, I couldn't like, I was like, uh, and I think I just tried to change the subject. I can't remember what it was, but it was just like not something I particularly would want for myself. And not I, something I would particularly <laughs> pick out for myself. Yeah. You know what I did this year? This year I made things real easy. I got that RuPaul ornament. I got a dozen. <laughs> yeah. And I gave, that was my professional gift. You went to Pete? Yes. Yes, I saw Every manager, thing. every, I'm like, here's one, here's one, here's one, here's one. I cannot believe the real tragedy of this Christmas season was, of course, the fact that we don't have Trixie and Katya ornaments. How is that not possible? How is that possible? Next year. Yes, but would you guys buy Christmas ornaments from us? Of course they would. Yeah. Yes, they would. they would. Of course they would. Well, we got a lot of stuff. Salt and pepper shakers. Oh, that's right. Those are gonna be hot. Salt and pepper shakers. We, we got, got a lot diaphragms. of cool stuff Yeah, yeah. We got a lot of a uh, lot of merch coming down the pipeline. I found that deep in my capitalist soul, for me to get you excited about merch, it has to be really cool. Yeah, and I don't. At this point, I don't know what advent calendar. But here's what I know. Oh, people like us. Yeah. And they want to have a thing of us. Oh, so yeah. we're not door-to-door Jehovah's Witnesses. No, We're no, actually no, no. providing a service because yeah. they want a tchotchke. They want an item. Yeah, and I, and I like that and I support that. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I, I think that's wonderful. I, however, just, I don't love shitty stuff. Like, I don't love to, like, make something that's going to have, like, huge, you know, green, um, what do you call that, a carbon footprint that's going to be, like, churning just a bunch of junk into the atmosphere you know you don't taste that shit (laughs) so i just want it to be good well that's why i send flowers oh see you and i differ because if i if i gave you this yeah well this is a candle i guess that's not a good because that's disposable as well if i gave you this i love a pillow but you either need to have it forever or you have to do that thing someday like on hoarders we're like well i feel like if i throw it away i'm saying fuck you to my friend well, I love saying fuck you to my friends. <laughs> <laughs> I've been watching a lot of hoarders. Have you really? Yes. Gooning, animal hoarders. Gooning. Hoarders. No. But that's a real, that's a yeah. real, that's fucking crazy. Well, <laughs> I, well, cause you know, I did wife swap and I got like halfway, th- to be honest, I loved wife swap, but by season five, it's just so cyclical. That's a lot of swapping. It's so formulaic. Yeah. Yeah. How many wives can you swap? They need to oh. get into sultans and polygamists. Because then it's a whole like Red Rover, Red Rover sends your army of wives right over. How about abducting? Wife abducting swaps. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, oh, sorry. Ki- yeah. Ki- I have to text a friend because the Jinx and De La show is canceled tonight. COVID strikes again. Yes. As we are film this, I was supposed to go see Jinx and De La's holiday spectacular tonight and they had a COVID exposure. So the show is canceled. Poor things. Fucking hell. So you can get COVID without, this is ignorant. You can get COVID without um, having been vaxxed, you can still get COVID. Yes. 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 Okay. The symptoms are typically much more mild. Gotcha. Okay. I was sick. Very, very sick this week. I'm still a little bit sick. Not COVID. Mm -hmm. Not COVID had several tests, but I got to tell you being sick. is not what they tell you. It's not it. It's not it. It's not fun. You watch the movies. They get to stay home, play with their breasts all day. Don't go to school. That's porn. What movie? That's porn. Oh, Sorry. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, um, what movie? <laughs> and by the way, did you change shirts? Yeah. I didn't. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. We changed locations. We're going to take a break. Okay. Hi, it's Trixie. So this episode of Bald and the Beautiful is brought to you by our favorite producers of Ball Trimmers, Manscaped. The global leaders in below-the-waist grooming are leaving 2021 with new product. Clean yourself in the new year with their ultra-premium body wash. I love this stuff, you guys. Especially days where I don't have to do drag and I really just want to feel male. I really want to put on something that is sort of like fresh but kind of masculine, quote-unquote, smelling. I love the way this smells. Love it. Also, special offer alert, you guys. Use the code BALD for 20% off free shipping at manscaped.com. Four million men already trust Manscaped. Time to join them. I use my lawnmower to shave my head, you guys. It's amazing. Let's talk about feeling clean, smelling good, okay? This body wash for Manscaped is fabulous. It doesn't irritate my skin, and I have very sensitive skin. So if something has too much, like, scent in it or anything, I know about it. It is wonderful. With Manscaped, you'll be a brand new man and ready to kick all the gross hair smells out with 2021. This is like a new year for me, right? 2022 is on the way. And the last thing you want to be is the guy who's still figuring out how to trim and keep everything going on down there, you know? 2021 sucked. And that's why Manscaped is making a splash and upping your grooming game. For me, 
I, I, 2021 was definitely a struggle. And in 2022, I'm going to be touring all year and the presence of certain hairs on my body need to be kept in check for the show to go on. I'm all in on confidence and smelling good this year. So join me with Manscaped. In fact, I'll probably actually bring my Manscaped shower gel on tour. That's how much I love it. Get 20% off and free shipping with the code BALD at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com and use the code BALD. Happy New Year to your balls. Can I be vulnerable for a second? (sighs) Can I tell you something? Please. You know that your health is more than just diet and exercise? Research increasingly shows that a healthy gut microbiome is crucial to healthy life. I'll tell you, as somebody who's had several cycles of antibiotics for the last few months, if it's not good in the hood, Mm-mm. it's sort of like the if if um, happy wife, happy life. Yeah. But with your guts, <laughs> especially the microbiome down there, the, my, my bio, and you know how thin I am. It's a micro microbiome. I mean, we're talking like the tiniest micro- microscopes <laughs> just to see my stomach. The teeniest little biome. Something could throw it off. <laughs> oh my god! They, they, when the scientists look at my microbiome, they're like, "Oh my god, it's size two? I'm like, "Yeah, it is. I had it taken in. I had to have my microbiome taken in. Um, anyway. <laughs> Pendulum glucose control is the first and only medical probiotic clinically shown to help manage type 2 diabetes when taken with medication. Well, I got to tell you guys, my grandma was diabetic. My uncle was diabetic. My mom was diabetic. I think my sister even had gestational diabetes. Native Americans are three times as likely to get diabetes than their Caucasian counterpart. So it's just always been part of our lives. I remember watching my grandma prick her finger every single day and she was she took very good care of herself in that way yeah. but she's dead now so who knows prick the finger or they take the leg <laughs> it's kind of yeah and i know as well as anyone from my family that diabetes is all about upkeep taking care of yourself i mean the worst thing is when you have that family member who does does not want to like prick their finger yes exactly So for those with type 2 diabetes, diet and exercise alone are often not enough to manage it. And the best approach really is diet, exercise, and a healthy gut microbiome. The connection has widely been recognized by leading scientists studying diabetes. American Diabetes Association, Mayo Clinic, John Hopkins, Bob Hoskins, and others. Pendulum glucose control is designed to lower A1C and after-meal blood glucose levels to help you manage your type 2 diabetes. It can really feel like an uphill battle to keep post-meal blood sugar and A1C levels where you need them. With Pendulum, you can feel and control your levels, not the other way around. Pendulum's the only place to purchase a newly isolated, highly sought-after strain called Ackermansia, formulated and bottled in the U.S. with the highest safety and quality standards, non-GMO project verified. If you or someone you love has type 2 diabetes, take control of glucose levels with Pendulum Glucose Control. Use the code BALD at PendulumLife.com. Get 20% off all products. That's P-E-N-D-U-L-U-M-L-I-F-E.com. Promo code BALD for 20% off. And we're back. And we're back. Dramatic costume change. What a lovely change. holiday sparkle you've got there, honey. Thank you. Tammy Brown sends me one every year. This That's is from so nice. two years ago. Holiday sparkle. Catch you a piece. Have you seen Tammy Brown's holiday special? I don't think so. It has some great tracks. One really? of them is, I want to live in a gingerbread house. Uh, I want to live in a gingerbread house. Uh, Yeah. <laughs> What else? What else? Any other good tunes? It's all Christmas songs, and it's Tammy singing, and, and she has celebrity guests that she gives them the gift, and they make they unwrap it on camera. Wow, oh, that's great! <laughs> and and um, Kelly Mantle's in it, playing Sheila. Kelly Mantle is at this she point. Is Kelly Oscar. Mantle is playing Tammy's manager so convincingly that I think she is. Yeah, she might as well be at this point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I saw um Dina Martinez um Christmas special. A little while ago, maybe it was live? two years ago. <laughs> Did you live? Yeah, she's really something else. I know she's something special. Talk about holiday sparkle. Yeah, yeah. She's one of the the best perform. Like like laughing. Like my 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 middle hurts. Yeah, the, her wig stock performance. Um, With the baby. from one year. No, the um where she she um so there's I think it's from the the documentary wig, the the documentary. Oh, the rose. Yes. So she, Dina Martina, um, she comes on, she's announced, you know, they announce her, she comes on and she says that she's going to sing a song, um, a single that's from her upcoming, um, album, uh, and it's called, what is it called? Um, mem- uh, something of the, something of the thyroid. It's, um, and then she does, ding, ding, it's the rose, like some say love becomes the rose. Yeah. It's the shortest fucking it's so great it's it, so funny it's so funny and cheat the system 
cheat the system. I think that in most drag contracts, like when I work in nightclubs, I think that my numbers had to be three minutes. Really? Yeah. Really? I think a lot of them you have to do three minutes. Okay. There's a weird thing in drag contracts where you are being paid to, basically the verbiage is you're being paid to do the act that you are famous for. Oh, okay. So like you couldn't get booked at a bar on males contracts uh-huh. and wear a completely different makeup and do completely different type of music okay. and like do a different character. Sure. I think, I feel like this is all kind of like Moot. common sense. Yeah, 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 yeah. But um, she really did. What was it called? Something of the thyroid. Anyways, it was just so great. It was probably about eight seconds, Because the song seconds. is supposed to be, some say love, it is a river. Yeah. It's a yeah. whole The song. whole thing, yeah. So she just did the first line going into the last line. And it's just so perfect. It's so great. And she looked like a fucking, fucking beast. She never breaks character. That's scary to me. That's There's scary a few dry race queens like that where they never break character. Yeah, that's scary to me. That's scary to me. Because I'm, I'm never in character. Like I can't ever get into character. I have the opposite problem. You don't feel problem. different in drag? Like, I do. No, not really. I mean, I was I like I did a character, but it was only on stage. I could never be in character or backstage. Do you know what I mean? I couldn't do that. I just felt crazy. Do you think I'm a different person in drag? No. I think I am. Do you? I feel like a completely different person. Well, you look like a different person. <laughs> You know, but I don't think, yeah, but I mean, you know, but then like again, a, I'm used to talking to you and, and we talk this, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but she's, I would imagine what's her, do you know what her name out of drag is? Grady. Grady. I imagine that they're very two different people. They are. He's so nice. Yeah. Full head of hair, thick, lush head of hair. Seriously. He has dark, thick, gorgeous, curly hair. I and imagine you and I are just baldy. Bald. Girl, just I'm baldy. so sick of it. Bald. Bald as the day is long. Big d- bald eagles. I don't mind being bald most of the time, but lately I'm just sick of the same haircut in a way. Yeah. I was like, you know, being friends with Andrew um, Young, not the presidential candidate, but my friend, the doll maker is, it's tough because he, <laughs> he does a hair, he has a hair story. He's got a, like a, an epic saga of just having hair. Epic vistas. It's big sweeping, heavy, natural vistas. Yeah. And it's tough because I'm like, okay, I don't, I don't, just like being bald, it's quite simpler, but sometimes I do wish that I had some kind of hair situation happening. Well, Bob just him. got a Bob just got a unit installed. Did you see that? I saw that. I love that. I, I would mean, love for, to for get a man a of color, mm-hmm. it's a great option because that texture is so Is like, it just a cap? I think yeah. that it's, it's awesome. shaved to the skin. Yeah. And then I believe that the hair is laid down like by hand. That's incredible. Yes. It's pretty lit. He looks good. Yeah, I love, I just love a piece. That's I want to get I mean. it right. Oh, that's what I was like, I think that's what I was going to ask you for Christmas, but I'm going to do a little research on my own because I need to get in, in the thick of it. I did my own research. <laughs> the COVID people. I did my own research. Oh God. The people won't get vaccinated because they did their own research. Oh, Is COVID going to be forever? And just like that, Big died. So wait, I'm going to, COVID is, I talked to my sister over Thanksgiving. She's a, a virologist. She does viruses. Um, she yes. studies viral videos. Yeah. <laughs> she said she works in, uh, she's a, a public health, she's a master public health veterinarian, but she works in like basically, you know, diseases and stuff. And she said, absolutely. COVID's here for the rest of our life. Yeah. <sighs> she said, get used to it. It's not going anywhere. So, but, but the silver lining is. And just like that, Big died. Uh, did you, I, is this from Sex in the City? Sex in the City. So in just like that, a new chapter of Sex in the City. Okay. I watched all of Sex in the City. It's not great. It's not great. It's problematic, but it, it's, I don't know. It was fun. It had a moment. It had its moment on TV and on HBO mm-hmm. in the early 2000s or something. And let me tell you, this garbage horse shit fest of a bonanza yeah. that is the new season the, and just like that without Kim Cattrall it is so rotten it is it is so rotten do you think that Sex and the City people though are so into it that they don't care I don't know because I I can't watch it and I I like I was really looking forward to it I was like way more excited for it than I should have been mm-hmm. like no reason to be that excited about it this, you know considering the stuff I like but I watched it and I was like oh my god Mary because just manure because the Will and Grace reboot was so good. Was it really? It was the same characters, a little older. And then, you know, in the first episode, they explain divorces, why they're single, yeah. you know. And it was great. It's yeah. the same characters, but transplanted to today's things. Yeah. Like, they made Karen Walker Trump supporter. Makes a lot of sense. Really? Yes. Oh, wow. They make, you know, 
seeing Grace as a divorced woman is kind of interesting. Okay. She's vulnerable in a new way. Maybe then that's that's a good uh, blueprint because this is like this series is like they had the girls um, frozen in time, like they were frozen in the '90s or the late '90s or whatever, and woke up in 2021, and were like, "Is it like what's a what's bone? all this NB? What's all this tran? What's all this woke? What's all this Instagram?" I was like, "What the fuck is wrong with you people?" And they're like old, or you know, they're older in their fifties. In, you know, approaching well, the, 60. the age of the women who are supposed to be watching that, not gay men, the age of the women, they do feel that way, I think, probably. But they also didn't wake up like frozen in time. Like it's, you know what I mean? Like it yeah. doesn't happen overnight, you know? And of course they're just going down the list, checking every box of like, okay, non-binary, um, trans, uh, like all of these like uh, checklists, these diversity checklists. And you're like, this is, this is brutal. Sometimes in helping, we hurt. Exactly. I was like, "What? this is some really, really clunky, funky, um, just bad shit. And also, um, spoiler alert, one of the Carrie's like fairy tale husband dies on the Peloton. And this, the, the end bike? Of the, yes, on the bike. On the end of the first episode. And she, it like, she literally says, and just like that, Big died. <laughs> And I couldn't stop howling and laughter because it was, it was so heavy handed and so overwrought and so melodramatic. And then she find he's like slumped over in their um, giant, you know, apartment and like looking all gla- glassy eyed. And she comes home and stares at him. Doesn't call the, the ambulance at all. Wow. She just looks at him and then she goes into the shower with her satin Manolo Blahniks and just like cries over his dying body. It's so weird. It's so weird. It's Who, so weird. Is big her husband? Yes. Mr. Big. And they've been married this whole time. Yeah. Since the movies. But this, this is the thing. This is so that she can be single. It's a storytelling device. So she can be single again. It's for the divorced <sighs> or women who are um, widowed. Can, yeah. Can, that's me. I see me. It's so grim though. I mean, it's like, I, I guess the, the whole happily ever after thing wouldn't play out very well for a, a new series. Cause who no. wants to watch her learn how to cook? Nobody. But you know, it's just, I don't know. It's so weird. And then one of the main characters. Did you think it was going to be good? Also, no. when you and other gay men watch it, do you think that you're the target audience? Yeah. Because you're not, right? Well, I, I think I've never seen are. it. I think we are. Like we, like older gay men like me and then, um, you know, women, Cosmo drinking. But that's who I think it's for. I know. It's so weird. It's like the fun aunt. Like yeah, that's yeah, who yeah. it's for. But that's who I am. <laughs> the weird uncle? <laughs> yeah. Not the fun aunt. Yeah. I don't know. Anyways, it's, it's fucking rotten. It's so bad. It's so bad. It's so unforgivably bad. But, you know, Sarah Jessica Parker looks great. That's, listen, that, those, great. those women being beautiful was never an issue. No. They're all gorgeous. No, she looks great. I have moved on in my TV journey from Wife Swap, and then I jumped ship to Hoarders. Okay. Which is fine. I'll probably burn that. Well, I'm watching Reno 911 from the beginning still so f- Fucking good. I am going to watch that too. I, I I made a note of that the other day. I was like, I'm going to watch that from the beginning because I haven't seen hardly any of it. And it's, they're all so funny. Season one, episode one, the pilot. You're like, how's this a pilot? <laughs> it's amazing. Really? There's no finding your footing. There's no, I mean, they wow. just know who they are. Well, Nisi also, Nash. Yeah. And Wendy McClendon. Yeah. Wendy, Wendy, Wendy McClendon Covey. I'm and Covey. so obsessed with her. She's so funny. She's so hot in the show. Yeah. Because she says, it's just tits, tits. big blonde hair, hair, makeup. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, I'm, I'm, I've been a big fan of those people since they did the state, which was like so long ago. And, but that's, I, that's probably why the show works so well right off the bat because they've been working together forever. Wow. Most of those guys. It's really good. So I'm, good. I'm in season three now. Um, and then I'm watching hoarders again, which is fun, but I've noticed with hoarders. Um, Oh, we got dirty Diana outside the, or the older people who hoard, it's harder to break them of their habits. I would imagine. And I don't, I just don't, I guess I don't understand. Like you ask for the show hoarders to come help you unhoard <laughs> and then you resist the whole time. I know. I don't get that. And sometimes it's like, well, if you don't get this hoard cleaned up, the city is literally taking your house the week after we leave. Right. And they'll fight it the whole time. And it's like, I know you like your shit, but your house is going to be taken away from you. Right. And that's where, that's where all the magic happens ostensibly. <laughs> and we're talking, it's not like we have a lot of stuff. These people don't have beds. These people lay down in garbage. You go to sleep. They lay, they just get on the garbage hoarders. <laughs> I mean, guilty. <laughs> and just like that, big died. <laughs> it's just really like, 
I don't know. It's, it's sort of like Kitchen Nightmares, illness. which is another show I love. Uh, I love Gordon Ramsay programs. You love people. You love seeing people at their worst, don't you? But there's a story they always improve. Oh, okay. Usually. Yeah. Um, Kitchen Nightmares. They'll ask Gordon Ramsay for help with their failing restaurant, and then they'll fight him the whole time. Damn. What if he knows what he's talking about? Yeah. Listen I, to yeah, Gordon does, Ramsay. Yeah, he does. I mean, I mean, obviously his job is to show up and yell at you. Yell at you. Yeah. But listen. Yeah, isn't there, there, I mean, I'm sure they want a success story there too. They want you to do better. They want you to improve. Well, yeah, yeah the show's not satisfying if they go help people and nothing changes. Right. It's God like a reno- I'm shooting a renovation show right now. And you have to show what it was like before you started swinging the hammer. Right. So that those reveals are stunning. Are What pro- what part of the process are you in right now? Like how far along are you? Um, grieving. No. Um, <laughs> just one of the back. stages of grieving. <laughs> um, we are in the stage of... I would say there's six rooms and a seventh room that's a, a honeymoon suite. Uh-huh. And then there's a whole bar and okay. pool. I would say we're, if we're talking just reno, 30% through. That's it. I would say if we're talking wow. filming, we're probably 40%, 50% through the filming. Wow. This is a long project. It is. We've been doing this for quite a bit Months. of time. Yeah. Because you have to shoot me in drag shooting every, like every room. Here's this room. Here's this room. Here's this room. Yeah. And then. Um, all the celebrity guests, every episode has multiple celebrity guests Damn, doing DIY. So famous people coming and me being like, thanks for coming. So-and-so today we're going to reupholster this couch. No way. Yes. Incredible. I don't want to give away too much, but like we are truly, all my celebrity friends are getting in full hair and makeup. And then they realize this isn't a joke. It's a job. We're actually renovating. It's a job. And they kill the cameras and they put on like a time lapse. I'm standing there painting walls for six, seven hours sometimes. In drag. Out of drag. Out of drag, okay. But sometimes in drag. Wow. A celebrity and I, literally in wigs, painting murals on walls. Jesus Christ. I mean, I've been reupholstering furniture myself. In your free time? Uh, Yes. I love it. Do you? It's a second chance. (laughs) (laughs) Which is, for some of us, the only second chance we might get. (laughs) Let's take a break. Let's take a break. (laughs) Using the internet without ExpressVPN is like leaving your laptop exposed at the coffee shop table while you run to the bathroom. Most of the time, you're probably fine. But what if one day you come out of the bathroom and your laptop is gone? It's just like, I don't know, it's like getting changed in the middle of Piccadilly Circus. Everything's on display and everybody, anybody could grab your stuff, your valuables. You know, it, it leaves you vulnerable and it's not good. Every time that you connect to an unencrypted network, like a cafe, a hotel, airport, any, any place like that, A hacker on the same network can gain access to your personal data and take it all. Your passwords, your financial details, everything. And it doesn't take much technical knowledge to do something like that. Just some cheap hardware and a a motivated 12-year-old could do it. Your data is valuable. These hackers can make up to $1,000 per person selling personal info on the dark web. So ExpressVPN creates a secure encrypted tunnel between your device and the internet. Hackers cannot steal your sensitive data and get this, you know, maybe you're living in a country that, um, I don't know, let's just say the government doesn't uh, officially condone certain behaviors or lifestyles. It's super secure. It would take a hacker with a supercomputer over a billion years to get past ExpressVPN's encryption. It's easy to use. You just fire up the app, click one button, and bam, you are protected. I love ExpressVPN because I just don't want, you know, I don't want the, I don't want anybody to know. Nobody needs to know about me like that. They don't need to know what I'm looking at. They don't need to know what what my bank balance is. That's between me and, um, you know, Charles Bank and God. And I don't want people to, uh, to steal my little stuffs. You know, it's all digital. I don't want people knowing that I search for hot, sexy jars of Ma's gravy dripping with condensation you know, as pornography. I just don't, people don't need to know that. So ExpressVPN has got me covered. Secure your online data today by visiting expressvpn.com slash bald. That's E-X-P-R-E-S-S-V-P-N dot com slash bald. And you can get an extra three months free. Expressvpn.com slash bald. Bombus's mission is simple. Make the most comfortable clothes ever and match every item sold with an equal item donated. So this holiday, when you gift Bombus to someone on your list, you're also giving them to someone in need. It's a give-give. Bombus designed their socks, shirts, and underwear to be the clothes you can't wait to put on every day. Everything they make is soft, seamless, tagless, and has a luxuriously cozy feel. They're made from super soft materials like merino wool, pima cotton, and even cashmere, which makes them the perfect cozy winter layers. 
There's a pair of Bombas socks for everything you do. They come in performance styles for every sport, holiday styles for when you're feeling festive, and lots more. I love the socks from Bombas so much. And let me tell you something. My feet smell like the cat's ass. They're so horrible. I need wonderful, lovely, luxurious, um, comfortable socks, and I need a lot of them. So they've got me covered, and I love that. And I also love contributing to other people, too. Bombas are made to be the perfect gift and made to give back to those in need. So happy giving. Go to bombas.com slash bald and get 20% off your first purchase. That's B-O-M-B-A-S dot com slash bald for 20% off. Bombas.com slash bald. Can I tell you something? Please. What? Wait, wait. Even days like today, mm-hmm. where we have been filming together a lot yesterday, and I'm a little fatigued, I love doing this with you. <laughs> You're a liar. You're a I liar. You've lied so much in your whole life, you bitch. Are we, I don't know what. I, could you imagine if we never worked together, what we would be doing? What do you? If you and I never did, uh, never worked together. I don't know. I don't know. I if we were just casual friends, the way you and I are casual friends with a lot of people from Drag Race. Yeah. What would we? What would you be doing with all that extra time? Well, I don't know because I mean, if think about it now, all I do lately is stuff with you. I don't do, I don't think I do anything on my own because I would I'm in this like retirement it's, phase. It's the commitment to me that keeps you showing up at all. <laughs> Honestly, that is really like it's like if it wasn't for you, I probably wouldn't really inhabit this this plane very much at all. <laughs> you know what I think you would do? What? I know you struggle with the motivation to write. Mm-hmm. No, I probably would I writer. probably would write if I didn't have well, have you thought about doing fiction? Well, yes, like a but go, like it's a, a whole. I would love to take a course on it though, because it'd have to do horror story, a ghost yeah, book. I'd have to do like um. I was looking up classes the other day, um, because you have to have deadlines, obviously, in order to do anything. You, you you're not going to just like oh, well, me. I was going <laughs> to say even then. <laughs> sometimes we have deadlines, and then we just don't do anything about it. Well, um, so c- certain things need to get written at other, you know. Well, deadlines do serve a purpose because yes, especially when you're attaching a deadline to an artistic project yeah. with artistry, you can fuck with it, shape it forever. forever. It's never done. Forever, 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 ever, 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 ever. Yeah. Usually what makes me dumb with something is it has fatigued me and I go, I just can't look at it anymore. Absolutely. Or it's like, oh, time's up. Time's up. You're just moving on. When you moving have a photo on. shoot, do you like to choose your own selects? Uh, absolutely. And I, I can go so quickly so quickly i make other people do it you do i do interesting why because you think you have a not a very good objective sense of I, what you look like i think i look i don't i don't know you I, think you look 100 percent in every picture i don't trust anyone to do it okay but brandon mm-hmm. jess who runs my socials yeah. i'll be like can you just pick the best one because i trust them absolutely I'm not asking beth ann yeah 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 you know yeah i mean i think like i'm i can just i hate that the fact that with photos I mean, with my face, 10 degrees in any direction away from the light, dog. No, not dog, but big difference. Big difference, big difference, huge difference. We just so. had to pick the cover for a project. And it's tough. The, but the one you picked? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Your face looks great. Face looks fantastic. But in, uh, so out of 30 photographs, right, because I still don't know how to model, um, but like 30 photographs, You'll have like, you know, a whole range of, I, I realized I have three poses. I have mouth open, mouth closed, mouth partway open. <laughs> but, um, which is, so we go, <laughs> <laughs> but literally it's like, <laughs> and then tongue out. I've seen tongue out. Tongue out, tongue out. But that's, the, that's a crutch. Eyes rolled back. Yeah. That's, that's the crutch. That's always looks fun. But we're talking about beauty. It's like, it's, di- it's difficult. But so, yeah, I mean, you look you just got to get the lighting right. I mean, cause the shapes are all there. It's, I mean, it's pretty hard to fuck that up if which you look why, good. Which is why all my favorite photographers, they just do, they do beauty light and then my face does the work. Yep. Cause you can't even tell if my eyes are. Open. I was just going to say, that's a real big one. Cause I have a, I really uh, recently discovered a lazy eye and, um, and you I really have a tendency. You have a cross eye too. I do. Yeah, 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 I do. Um, it, it pops out like, hold on. And in, in, in boy like selfies, I'll notice, Oh shit. Like one eye always is like half open and then kind of migrating. Mm-hmm. It's, it's fine. I'm, I've made peace with it. A I've lot of people are slightly cross-eyed. Most people are. Yeah. 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 It's fine. It's fine. You know, when I had to get an MRI for my brain because I thought I was dying, uh-huh. um, they found a three millimeter growth on my pituitary gland in my brain. But they told me that an estimated 10% of people have a growth on their pituitary gland and anything under five millimeters is considered like 
Just who cares? Snacks. Yeah. Yeah. Not around. People got all kinds of weird stuff in their bodies. Yeah, that's what they said about my water filled cyst and my scrotum. Did you have a water filled cyst and scrotum? Did. That's Do. your bladder, honey. Do you <laughs> pee? <laughs> no, my yeah, it was the third ball that I discovered while palpating my testes at a young age. And Work. So, and so I went and got an ultrasound. They're like, yeah, it's fine. It's most a lot of people have these. We don't need to because cutting through the sack and getting that shit out there. That's real tough. Yeah, they said even the best fall down sometimes. <laughs> third ball. It's about to be Krimba. Krimba? Yeah. Is happy the, Honda the, days. Happy Honda. <laughs> Merry Chrysler. Happy Honda days. Ernie Buck Jr. is coming to town. I can't wait. I love Christmas. I love it. I love it. Are you going to see the Familia? No. <laughs> no, we did. We already did that. We already did that. Thanksgiving. You're like, we've done it like 38 times. Yeah. <laughs> We did it. Um, Thanksgiving was lovely. It was fabulous. I think I'm going to send everybody some scratchers. Oh. Some scratchers. Go, go white trash with it. Yeah. Do you think that is okay or no? I think it's absolutely you, fine. You think I should just send It's the money. thought that counts. It's even to write a card. Right. It's yeah. a huge everything. Yeah. I think that's I think that's it. And I don't want to send it. I was like, I'm not going to send just a card. I'm going to send a card with some money in it. Something of interest. You know what I mean? Send some news. kind of activity. <laughs> yeah. Polaroids. Federica Bimmel. I'm not kidding. I sell Polaroids every Christmas and they go really? in a minute. Okay. But Polaroids are what? 50 or 60 original Polaroids of me. I oh. put them in a Christmas card. They go in a minute. Oh, that's fab. And that, that fab. way you're giving a gift with a real original, like, yeah, that's cause cool. you can print pictures as Polaroids, but these are real original Polaroids. And that's you're cool. the only one who has it. Yeah. I love that. That's cool. Polaroids are fun. They are fun. Cameras can be fun. Yeah. <laughs> Taking pictures is a blast. Taking pictures is fun. <laughs> and then I'm good. I have to bank a bunch of YouTube stuff over the next like week so I can try to relax. Yes. Now, what does it look like you relaxing? I'm so curious to know. It's hard. Yeah. I'm still you have to get running. taped to the wall. As a woman who ran a hundred, a thousand, thousand, a thousand as a woman who ran miles. a thousand and six miles yeah. last year. I want to know how many steps I took. It was probably close to a thousand. Three, four. <laughs> I'm, I'm on the beat. I walk. Yeah. I walk. You're on the beat. <laughs> yeah. I just can't. I, I, how yeah. did you do that? I don't know. How did you do last that? Last July, July, I ran 174 miles. In the month. In the month of July. Isn't so that what is, crazy? What is that average out to be like? My longest distance at once last year was 26.1. 174, you said? Yeah. I also um, got on the scale at the gym. I haven't been on the scale in a year and a half. I lost 17 pounds. Mary, that's five miles a day. Every yeah. single day. Uh -huh. An average. Well, because sometimes on the weekends, I would run 15, 20. That's crazy. That's know, a lot of it. running. It's it. a lot of running. Although, because I got sick for a month and a half, I'm starting to run again, and I'm having to go back to improv one. Oh, yeah. So five That's or tricky. six miles right now is, is hard again. That's tricky. I probably That's couldn't okay. do a quarter mile. I probably couldn't do a quarter mile. But yeah, it's you by could. Choice. I, probably, I mean, I could, but it would be tough. Your body responds to everything gradually. Yeah. So as long as you don't leave your house and start sprinting, yeah, you can do true. it. I always thought I was bad at running. Mm -hmm. I just didn't know how. You have to start very slow. Very slow. You have to basically walk for a few minutes and then kind of walk fast yeah. and then stretch as you go. And yeah. then once you've worked up to a run, your body can support it. Okay. What kind of shoes you got there? I run the, uh, the Hoka's. The Hoka's. Worn by marathon runners and DJs, actually. Oh. The DJs stand for four, five, six hours. Uh, oh, yes. And not on that, um, not on that, uh, the pads, the cushions. Not on the cushions. Not on the cushions. Not on the cushions. <laughs> Last night I went to a party called Fat Slut. <laughs> Who would play? You her? were there. No, um, I went to a party called Fat Slut at Precinct. Um, How was it? It was uh, Mateo was DJing, and it was it's Meatballs party. Oh, love that! And it's all um, at Fat least slut. slightly chubby go go boys, which I okay. love. Oh, that's I, great! I love. Yeah, I love big chubby yeah. roided out go go boys. Yeah, big blubbery rolls. I'm gonna put your head in them. There was one who was at least six one, and just I know there was a little more than nature going on there. Yeah, sure. Ch he was. You know, it's getting juicy. massive. Yeah. He looked like a Prius. Wow. A hairy Prius. Or like a, a Prius. <laughs> a car. A car. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I wanted to put his whole body in my mouth. Big dumper. Big huge Everything dumper. Was big. Huge. Everything was Everything big. Was and you know that it was really getting juicy. <laughs> and you also know that he probably eats a lot. And so the mm. dump itself was big. Oh, I'm yeah. sure. 
everything extra it's he's he's baconator fries everything yes. yeah everything so it was all the people in the show great 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 and then the contest was sexy eating contest where people come on stage trying to win a hundred dollars they give them a plate of food and have to eat it sexy sexy, sexy what was eating. anybody do ravioli rub it on the food rub it on the body yeah. rubbing it in the mouth rubbing I mean, face in it sitting on it sitting on it yeah rubbing food all over the body to try to win a hundred dollars it's amazing in a gay bar what people will do when the prize is so nothing piddly, nothing yeah but the but the the fame but I one time took a picture of my cock at the BFD trying to win a bottle of vodka. I know you did. Well, it's so, just the winning. It's, it's just the winning. winning. It's fun. Competition. Well, glory is forever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's a fun story. Um, Have you ever entered a bar, like an amateur drag competition, a bar competition? I did do a bar one and then I, and then I, I won. It was the only one I did. And then that's You were the it. only one competing? No, it was just me and two others. <gasps> what about pageants? Where that's what it one was. One person competing. That that's, happens a lot. That's crazy. It happens That's a crazy. lot. That's crazy. Because these, these new queens don't care about pageants. No. So they're not... Who's paying for it? And are they doing the whole thing? They're doing going through the whole rigmarole. I well, think I remember That's hearing great. drag queens be like, well, I bought that system. I bought that pageant system. And I'm like, what's that cost? What's that retail at? 1995? Yeah. Damn. Three easy payments on Klarma? I mean, shit. There's like the pageant... Oh, I always forget about this. They need to do a more comprehensive documentary in like the whole Miss Gay US of A. US of. Of A. What a. does that mean? Miss Gay US of A. Isn't Miss Gay USA and Miss Gay US of A, aren't they separate? I think Miss Gay America and Miss Gay US of A are separate. But, but there's the branding different... issues there. And also, the, I'll never get over this. Speaking of fat sluts, I'll never get over the fact that they say at large for plus size. I like that. But it's what hysterical. about classique meaning old? Classique meaning old and um, elite meaning old. But but at large to me, that is so funny. At large. At large. Like the killer is still at large. The if, editor at large. It doesn't you're... mean actually large. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I think that the literal- I know that, but I that, don't think it, they know that. I don't think they know it either. <laughs> it's like, it's <laughs> fucking hysterical to me. Miss, Miss Gay US of A at large. At large. Well, it doesn't at large mean like you're still out there doing that notorious thing you're doing. Yeah, yeah. The killer is still at large. It's not been caught. So, so On the be, loose. These people think, oh, Miss, the, the news says the killer's fat. Yeah. Miss Gay, Miss Gay US of A on the loose. <laughs> You know what? If you're going to be, if you're a young drag queen, the one that I think is worth competing for is anything Miss Club. Miss Club. Miss Club? Miss, Miss Club Miss Foot. Club. Miss yeah. Club Foot. <laughs> Miss Hair Lip. Miss Club Foot. Miss Hair Lip. Miss Trim Your Own Bangs. <laughs> Miss Hooded Lids. Um, Miss Veneers. Miss ha- <laughs> um, no, Miss Club is like, okay, let's say you competed for the Miss, Miss Rocco's West okay. Hollywood. Oh, if you oh, win, oh, 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 you usually oh. win like a guaranteed number of bookings per month, every month for a year. Okay. Then you actually win work. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's usually what you do win with in the systems. You do? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was before. I don't know if it's still the way. But, but if yeah. you win a preliminary for like a state competition, does it mean you get to tour the state? If you win the state one, I think you get to tour if the state. If you win the national one, then you get to tour around. Yeah. But the nationals is not easy to do. Like I remember, do you know Aurora Sexton? Uh-huh. Icon, if yeah. you guys don't know at home. Yeah. Oh, it was Incredible. Most amazing drag. Incredible. I saw her when she was Miss Entertainer of the Year, which is a national pageant. Yeah, why? Yeah, and she was traveling yeah. to basically every club that participates in that system. Yeah. She goes to every prelim. Yeah. Her job for a year was to do that. Yeah, that's incredible. Also, it's Continental. We got to watch- Continental. We got to watch some Miss Miss America pageants. Or Miss Gay US of A. If you could go back in time, would you have done more pageants, you think? Fuck no. I think I would have. Really? I think it would have made me a better drag queen faster. I think that those well, that's, people- that's com- true. Yeah. Co- people who compete, they do better. Absolutely. I but, mean, yeah. But then again, Ginger told me about like comedy pageants and I'm like, that's cool. Oh, yeah. I guess so. One of the categories is a spokeswoman where you walk on stage, they hand you an item, you have no idea what it is, and you have to try to sell it in a comedic way. Oh, wow. So improv. That's funny. Yeah, that's great. It's valuable skills. Sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 And I'm sick of people not thinking I'm going to be funny just because I'm so hot. Yeah. Just because you're huge, heavy, sweaty tits doesn't mean that you can't make, tell a joke. I've been feeling really bad about myself, but I also know that this is probably the best I've ever looked. Okay. And so that's difficult <laughs> to, to not like what you look like, but know that this is the best it's been. Do you know what I mean? That's horrible. That's so horrible. No, listen, we're, we're in the land of make believe, honey. <laughs> we're li- li- we're living in you know. Li- listen, you can always change. When when, uh, when somebody snip snip yank yank. When I was at Fat Slut last night, mm-hmm. 
I had a hat on, a beautiful, great orange hat that said, you know, the cheer logo for, mm. for, um, for cheers. No cheer, like a uh, detergent. Mm. It's a rainbow. It's a cheer. It said bear. Okay. It's teddy bears merch. Who was on the pod. Gotcha. He mm -hmm. has great merch. And I had that on at the bar and I, I didn't realize cause you know, I like, I like men of all sizes. Yeah. I like, especially if you have a good face, I really like whatever, whatever. I don't care. Um, but somebody explained to me that a lot of times bigger guys are afraid to come up to somebody who's slimmer like me. Tiny. Because they think that there's like, that they're, they're gonna not going to be into them. Oh, okay. That only big guys are into big guys, et cetera. Because this guy came up to me and was so friendly and nice. And I was like, everyone's so nice here. And I was like, oh, I have a hat on that says bear. Oh, it's the green light. I'm giving them the green light. And I'm like, great. God, I could have been nailed by extremely hot bears every day of the week if I would have known that you need to signal to them. I know. Can I? Is there a hat that signals everybody? Is there a hat whore. that signals? Yeah. This is whore. Whore. Cum dump. Yeah. Anon. Anon cum, cum dump. I don't like that. I don't like that. I'm not a fluid collector. A receptacle. <laughs> I'm not a Bunsen burner. <laughs> I don't. Well. So anyway, he comes up to you. He was so nice and hot. Mm -hmm. But you know, I was just there to vibe. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was like, oh my God, this hat. And then my Teddy explained to me, yeah, a lot of the bigger guys, they, they don't approach someone who doesn't look like them because they don't think that they're going to be into them. And I'm like, you shouldn't have to wear a hat that says bear yeah. Yeah. for people to feel comfortable talking to you. But I guess you never know. I mean, like I remember repeatedly hitting on this guy who was like, um, uh, he's like, told me the first time he's like, oh, you're not my type. Did yeah. his hat say corpse? <laughs> That's why I went over and talked to him. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. Good. <laughs> so you hit on him a few times. Yeah. Cause I just forgot. No, I've seen you go off. Yeah. In a way where you go, um, I go like, they don't really reciprocate and then you'll wait a beat and then you'll go again and go, oh, I'm sorry. Goldfish brain. Yeah. 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 Oh, I'm sorry. I forget what just happened. We want to fuck me. But you're also no. in drag when it happens. Yeah. And so you're riding the high of being the hot slut. Yeah. Or just a slut. Yeah. I mean, physically hot slut. An overheating, <laughs> overheating slut. slut. <laughs> Burning up slut. Yeah. But I loved going to a party called Fat Slut. I love that too. I love Fat Slut. I love Fat Bitch. You There's a Fat Bitch party? No, but there should be. Oh, I, yeah, that's yeah, cool. You fucking bitch. You, you fucking bitch. bitch. <laughs> A party called fucking bitch. You fucking bitch. Do you miss having a monthly show? Yeah. You do? I do. Yeah. It was fun. It's fun. I, I wanted, to, I would love to try to think about doing one here, maybe quarterly. I think quarterly is more the move because then it's like um, more we, of an event. We could do one. Yeah. We like the globe or something four times a year. That's, but too, much. All, that's too much. That's too much. That's too much. I want to do like a smaller place. You hire other people to handle most of it and they just do your numbers. Oh, I'm still, that's too, the scale is too big. I you want know something we could do? like, I want a bar show. I want like a chill. I want a tea dance essentially. Cause I want, I don't want late nights. That's what I want. I want like a monthly local, like tea I, dance. I DJ like a day disco. Yes. From four to seven or four to 10. Yeah. Four to 10, mm -hmm. four to 10. That's long. Six to 10. Four to 10. Six to 10. Six, 10. <laughs> Six to ten. Uh, people arrive at six. They dance from six to eight. And then, and then, and then they go home. And they, they, they take the big car. And they go home. They go home put on the big car. I put on the TV. I go to bed. Yeah, but, but in bed by 11. Yeah. I'm not trying to lay it. Are you going to see the new Resident Evil movie? I didn't know that there was one. Resident Evil is my abusive daughter because I love the Resident Evil games. Okay. And the movies are all not good. But I still go because it's Resident Evil. Is Resident Evil the one with the pyramid head? No, that's Silent Hill. Silent Hill. Resident Evil, the first one was- Mia Jovovich? Mila Jovovich, yeah. Little Red Dress, Zombie Outbreak. Yeah. And she's like a, a she's like she's a biological a weapon. And she's like- Whoa. Yeah, she's done a million of them, right? Yeah, she's been a bunch of them. But you know what? David Silver, who's like a, um, I don't know what you call it. He knows everything about movies. What is that called? A movie buff? He also works in the industry, so maybe that's why he knows. A movie professional. He said that those zombie style movies do very well internationally. Uh, okay. So he said that's because I'm like, if they're notoriously not good, how do they keep getting made? Yeah. He said they do well internationally. Gotcha. Probably because the game franchise. Yeah, that's. I mean, I always forget how big video games are. Huge, 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 enormous. Big. Yeah. What's big. the last game you played beginning to end? Um, it would have to be Mortal Kombat on Sega Genesis. Mortal Kombat three. Uh, whatever was Sega Genesis. That's the last game you, you played to the end. Yeah. That's I, a long time ago. I know. It was a very long time ago. I, I very jealous. <laughs> I stopped when I, I was a left to right girl. 
left to right. Once the dimensions started, I said, "Not on my watch. <laughs> it's too much to keep track of. <laughs> it just it wasn't satisfying. I know. Left to right, um, you start and you finish. You like two dimensional experiences. End. Beginning, middle, end. Well, life's already complicated enough. Yeah. Plus, Sonic the Hedgehog. That was the only one I did. I went 3D with. That's fun. Although that was a. I don't think that was. Was that 3D? I guess it was. It wasn't left to right. I'm gonna go kill myself. That's the pod today, you guys. <laughs> Thank you so much. Goodbye. <laughs> Thank you.